uh, President Zelensky has now visited the recapture city and calls for more help from Western allies. We've seen the war continue for about over six months uh, started, that started early on in February of 24th, earlier this year. And now the president, as he makes his trip to Kharkiv region, since the Ukrainian forces took back uh, the territory, Vladimir Zelensky has now uh, ensured that uh, this is a win for Ukraine. Our thoughts of people are with the people of Ukraine after what they've been through, as they've recaptured thousands of square miles of territory uh, just over the past weekend, as uh, this was a bid to make sure that uh, they're seizing the captured land. And they, what they did was they circulated the Russian forces and made them leave the region. Now, Zelensky's trip to the city also showcased what would be an extraordinary success for the Ukrainian campaign, the military, and overall showing that the aid that is going into Ukraine is actually helping to fight off the Russian troops and their weapons uh, and uh, their ability to uh, wage the war. Now, the European Union announced a large package of fresh aids for Ukraine. Uh, this comes at a time where uh, President Zelensky has been very active in terms of making sure that uh, the, there's the sanctions against Russia, but also the aid that comes in and the and the anti-warfare uh, measures of to be able to fight off the troops. Uh, in a visiting um, with many heads of state visiting uh, Zelensky in his country to see what's uh, been taking place in Kiev, and as he's been sending his message uh, virtually, but also receiving a lot of dignitaries in the country. Now, Kiev has been under pressure to show uh, tangible signs of progress for quite some time uh, because of uh, you know all the supplies it's it's receiving but also a time where uh, Russian natural gas has become part of the contentious issue with Russia cutting off the gas supply to Germany and other countries that are dependent on Russian energy and this could essentially put Europe's economy and uh, in, in, in ma massive turmoil with a recession looming, inflation all time high. And a lot of uh, economists are predicting that Europe will be the epicenter of the recession. And this is uh, at a time where it's not just the war between Russia and Ukraine, but the other countries are now uh, deeply in, in the whole realm of it and in, in the conflict that seems to be going on and with no end in sight.